four bedrooms, three bathroom, almost close to 2,000 square foot, brand new townhome right here in Davenport for under 375. Let's have a look, let's go. Hello and welcome to another episode of Orlando Home Show where strategy matters, passion rules and today's episode is sponsored by Nick Long of AmeriFirst Home Mortgages, NMLS ID 398963 and guys I am back in Davenport, actually I came back here uh, because they had another townhome which was really nice, almost close to 2000 square foot, it's 4 bedrooms, 3 bathroom, you have a bedroom downstairs, a full bathroom downstairs but it's laid out really well, there is no CDD, the HOA is only 273 a month, it's a really nice uh, townhome with the flow and it's really open so let's have a look you have this nice walkway that leads you to a little uh, entrance area now guys this one has a two-car spot you don't have a garage but you have two-car spot most likely in front of your townhome uh, so that you have the parking right up front so let's go inside and check rest of this beautiful model Hello, hello, and welcome to another beautiful townhome right here in Davenport. Now guys, if you are looking to buy a house anywhere in Central Florida or Tampa area, this is a great resource. If you haven't pressed that thumbs up button, please show us some love. Press that button and subscribe to our channel. Uh, we would appreciate that. Now, I am doing more townhomes right now because you know most of the single family homes, you know the prices have gone quite high most of the communities are towards the close end or they don't have the model uh, but in terms of the price point you can actually get this beautiful townhome which is four bedrooms three bathroom 1987 square foot with no cdd the hoa is only about 273 and it's literally right across from the local school which is the davenport um, arts school which is kindergarten to eight and then they also have uh, the high school brand new high school right next to it now guys if you haven't watched my channel on Orlando Living With D, that's where I actually bring you community videos. That's where you can see what Davenport is all about. How is it different from Kissimmee or Celebration? So that will give you a lot more information because I go a lot deep into those videos with the communities. We talk about school, hospitals, shopping, dining, everything that there is to know. So as I walk in, you have the eight foot eight ceiling height on the first floor and then you have the eight on the next. You have the six four door right up there and you have this nice walkway and you could see that you know this is 1987 square foot you have a little broader the walkway is a little bit broader I did actually another house uh, or another townhome in the same community and it was about 1600 some square foot which was a little bit tiny but it was also laid out really well now guys please keep in mind that with these townhomes these are all inventory homes that means that this is the house you have this is the upgrade you have and that's pretty much it so you get pretty much what you see here is what you get the only difference is in terms of the package if it had the white cabinets or the off-white cabinets so just keep that in mind so as i walk in you have a little storage space right there that's where you have your water heater also so there is still a little bit of room uh, it's kind of nicely tucked away because it doesn't have an enclosed garage and then right over here you have the very first bedroom with a nice window it's a pretty comfortable and if you are going to be working out of home you know this could be a good option for a small family with one or two kids you know this could be a nice starting point and in terms of the options that I was talking about you these ones this is what you are going to have these are the two packages that they have so this is the backsplash this is the cabinet uh, this is the the um, a granite or the cord so and then this is the color tiles that you see and then you also have another one which is this one so basically what the builder has done because it's taking so long for them to kind of get those they just put everything together so they are building those so it doesn't take that long the inventory is still very very short and for the other ones they have different other packages for the smaller one you would see now it's carpet in the room you have this nice uh, uh, closet space nothing extraordinary pretty much similar you know and then you have a full bathroom downstairs which i think is very convenient it's located right outside with the shower tub combination with this nice tile inlay it kind of pops out you know it really makes it look good very basic very similar tile and then you're going to have the the Senmica or or the um you know uh, laminate 
up here. Now, this is something you can always change later on. So guys, don't get too hang up, but it's a nice, affordable and a starting point if you are looking because what you end up paying in rent is pretty much going to be probably, if not more, then very similar to what you can. And I am a biggest, I'm a big advocate of you being able to buy your own house because the way I look at it, one way or the other, you're still going to be paying somebody's mortgage, might as well be yours. So as I walk in, this whole thing kind of opens up. You have this nice big window and look at the size of the lanai. I'm gonna take you out there in just a moment, but look at all this space. This just whole thing opens up and this is actually the actual size of your kitchen island. This is how big it is. It can easily sit three to four people right there. And this is the granite that you get. You also, they also have a package that has a different color cabinets and stuff. So just keep that in mind. And then this is the tile, which is about 12 by 24 tile, which is there, which is a basic feature that you will have. But what I really like about this house is that you have this space, you know, it's kind of a semi-private dining area. It's kind of tucked out. You know how you have some of the floor plans where they're just too long and everything is like in one go. I kind of like that the way this is, but it also really depends upon how the house shows, how, you know, how the house flows to me is more important than anything else. The square footage and all that, because I've done uh, some really big houses and they have a lot of dead space. I would rather take a house that doesn't have that much square foot, but whatever they have, it's kind of laid out really well. But look at the amount of cabinets that you have with the nice crown molding. You have the, the microwave right there, your range hood right there. Now you are going to get the microwave, the range hood and the dishwasher. You are not going to be getting the refrigerator, washer or dryer. But having said that, Things are changing. That could be a possibility. I know some builders are already doing. There are some great incentives right now. Now they do have a community where they're building. So there would be some coming up. So if you are interested, let us know so we can assist you accordingly. And then you also have a pantry right over here with all the space that you have. You have really nice size pantry. So it's a very convenient and comfortable uh, house in terms of the floor plan. But let me go ahead and show you outside the covered lanai space and look at this guys. Wow. This is the amount of space you get. You can always screen this later on. And especially if you have a view that there's nobody out there, you have the retention pond or conservation. It's really nice. You can have a nice summer kitchen here if you like to grill like me. This could be a really nice option. Now, this is not a gated community. There's not a lot of amenities uh, that is there. And for 273 a month, there is actually a small playground for kids. And that's pretty much it. But when it comes to to the, the HOA, it also covers your outside, so your inside insurance is going to be a lot more cheaper. Now guys, we have another channel called Orlando Home Show in Espanol because we have a lot of our clients that reach out to us and, and they are speaking to us in Spanish and, and I, my Spanish is like poquito. So if you haven't checked out Orlando Home Show in Spanish, uh, in Espanol, then please go ahead and do so. My agent partner, Luisa, runs that show and we do pretty much the same thing. We look at all the models and, and we make sure that we show you the, the house the way it needs to be shown. So let's go upstairs and check rest of this uh, beautiful town home out. So as I come upstairs, you're gonna notice that they have some sort of woodwork done over here. Now, these things are very easy to do, guys. Don't get carried away with stuff like this. Make sure to watch out my uh, uh, video on do's and don'ts of building a brand new property. This thing is more decorative than anything else. So as I come, you have this nice window and right in the hallway, you actually have your washer and dryer. Your laundry area is right over here, kind of neatly tucked away. It's not in the middle. And then as I go around, you have the two bedrooms over there with the bathroom. So it's a nice walkway and you have the very first bedroom right here. And it is a beautiful princess room. You know, I love the way they decorate. Pretty simple, nice pink. And then you can see how they have done the crown molding over here. It kind of really gives a really nice illusion because they didn't really do this all the way down till the back, but this is really nice. And then you have a small closet space right over here. So very comfortable, good size. It's a really nice starter home for a family. 
and within the price point that you're looking now they do have some inventory home for what both three bedroom two and a half bathroom and also for four bedrooms and three bathrooms so if you want to know put that in the comment below i'll be happy to send you some information and then you have another bedroom right over here looks like the baseball champs room is there this is really nice nice window and you know i am just amazed sometimes the decoration that they get so as i go around you also have a similar a closet space right here so pretty much the same size nothing that big but comfortable in that in that regards it's a really nice community it's very well located in terms of the schools you can literally have your kids walk and and then you also both to the high school and the kindergarten you have a linen closet right up front you know space right there and then this is your secondary bathroom. What I like about this house uh, with and especially with this builder, they always have a door in the water closet, like your your um, walk-in shower tub combination, pretty much very similar layout. You know, you have this thing kind of inlaid, you know, it kind of gives you that pop. You know, if it was white all the way through, it may not be that like, wow. But when you come in, a simple thing like this kind of really shines. And then right over here, you have your, um, you're not going to actually have granite or quartz, but it has the laminate or sun mica, which is easy to change later on if that's what you want, because it's a really small vanity space right there, but it's comfortable in the sense you could always do that later on. And then as I go around, you have the master bedroom with the bathroom. You walk through this nice hallway, your laundry space is right there, and then straight to your master bedroom over here and look at the space that you have really nice big size the king size bed over here i usually stand in the corners so you kind of gauge how you know um, how much space you have so you have enough space for a nice nightstand you have this nice window and you also have the room big enough that you have a nice sitting area right there and then you have the uh, bathroom which is the master bathroom it is a single vanity right there with the sin mica but you have the tiles and one thing that is common with this is that you're going to get a rain shower with this right here so you have the rain shower this is obviously frame but for the single family home they usually have a frameless uh, walk-in showers and then you have the closet look at the space that you have in this closet it's pretty nice it's kind of a little deep it's not that broad but very good, very comfortable. You also have the entrance to the attic uh, in case you want to store some things. Uh, that is something. So very, very comfortable. So as I come out, you know, let me know what your thoughts are on this. I really think that it really was good, especially downstairs with the flow of the whole thing. You have the separate dining area, you know, really nice covered lanai. So please let me know. They do have some inventory that would be coming along. And guys, if you are looking to buy, our services is absolutely free. Give us a call. Me and my team is here to help you and walk you through the process because the market is still challenging i do think that there would be some changes coming up but in terms of just the inflation and the cost of building and and we still have supply chain issues i don't think the prices are going to go as crazy as they had been but i do think that that the prices may not go especially for brand new i don't think they are going to come down maybe a little bit but i think incentives are going to come back i think there is a good incentive for closing cost with this builder right now on inventory homes so give us a buzz and thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed press the thumbs up button we look forward to connect with you this year thank you bye for now